Whoa, we are here at Tony Fast's farm, Fast Ag. And many of you know of him. If you haven't yet seen or subscribed to his channel, make sure you do that. We are on the farm with this brand new 100 foot Borgo drill. We are putting wireless blockage, not just any blockage system, but the Recon, Intelligent Ag Recon wireless blockage system. He's got to get this thing ready to seed in the next couple of days. There's been a lot of delays and we're helping him do it. We've even had some weather delays as you've seen. And uh, it's, it was like noon by the time we got out here and got going. But good thing for Pilot Dean, thanks to him and uh, getting us here safely and having a little fun flying by the place. Anyway, enjoy the video guys. This is gonna be a good one. Good grief guys. We are trying to get out of here and get to Montana. We're supposed to be at Tony Fast Farm already installing wireless blockage systems on his 100 foot Borgo drill. But this is happening. It is crazy windy, snowy, and unfortunately it's right next to the freezing point. And so that means the airplane we're gonna take could ice up. And you know about ice, not good on planes. But like, look at this. This is the kind of stuff we're dealing with right now. So I can all fit in the plane. Absolutely. Hey, look who's here. Hi. Well guys, you guys are gonna get to see a helicopter, an airplane. She is windy. Woo! Crazy cold out. Why is it always like this in North Dakota? What do you guys think? Do you think we can get all of our stuff in this hole? Not a lot of room in these planes. This is technically a six seater, but uh, there's just not a lot of room in here. <clears throat> Those camera kits are actually for Walker Farms. Last minute ad, but we'll make it fit. Dad, how are we going to get back there? How are you going to fit in there? I don't know. I think these seats are designed for people like your size and your size. Can't forget the ready buckets, that's for sure. Max baggage, 200 pounds total. Hmm. Yeah, because it's, it's been running like that. Oh. Or no. oh, finally. Oh, I can see blue sky. This is incredible. Now it's just super windy. So once we get off the ground, we'll be good to go. You ready for this? Show out of the deal. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I uh, got a little sick there actually. Did I was really? like, oh no. I was like, oh, I'm not feeling very good. <laughs> well, good job, Dean. You get a high five for that one. 
<laughs> the acrobatic yeah, maneuver. That was a good show. You can tell he's a crop duster. That's, yeah. a, that's a Ben asked, is he crop testing for you today or what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had that plane at a, I think, 90 degree pitch. <laughs> no. Is that a fun yeah, ride, bud? Just being pretty yeah. easy on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was, he you, was you don't have to do more than that for me. Yeah. <laughs> We made it. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Good to see ya. So we are out here at Tony Fast Place here, working on his 100 foot four go. He just got this thing in, and we put together a great plan to put a blockage system on here. We're gonna be sharing ECUs. So there's fertilizer tower up at the front and then a seed tower at the back. And we're gonna be running two products off of one ECU. So we just started cutting sensors in here. Uh, Dean here is putting the hose clamps, pre-installing them on the sensors to save us some time. These other guys are figuring out where we can move some towers to make that work. And we're making some good progress here and we just got started. How's it going here? Almost one half done. 20 to go. I don't want this to be crooked. How's it going, Nacho? I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Nacho here is Tony Tired Man. Right hand man, right? Are you a righty or <laughs> You're going to be running this thing, right? I Maybe. hope so, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> you have uh, dealers in Argentina yet? For parts? We could make one. He's your man. Yeah. That's right. This is the part of the job where it helps to have multiple oh, okay. arms and hands. Oh. If only I was like an octopus. Of course, <laughs> you wouldn't want that the rest of your life, but. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that. It's like I got another hand. <laughs> What's this? Green? Do you guys bring that? <laughs> that's bleeding. Bleeding green. Oh, that's your paint pen. I love that. <laughs> uh, we are and bleeding we green at Ready. Or, <laughs> or maybe <laughs> someone at Borgo. <laughs> <laughs> Borgo's got someone infiltrating their, their operation there. <laughs> That is interesting, isn't it? Well, I'm calling them. They're taking this thing back home. Yeah. yeah. Going back to Canada. Do it. Got green paint on it. We even got a drop over here. Boy, this guy was spilling. Yeah. So whoever did this was bleeding all over the place. <laughs> it's probably like, this stinking paint pen. <laughs> I think we better duct tape it. That's got soap in it, yeah. That'll work. There you go. <laughs> it reaches. By just a half an inch. <laughs> oh yeah, we're good. All right, guys, we got one finally mounted. We had to move them together. It's looking pretty good. I think we're on the on a good track here. Let's keep at it. Now that I got one done, let's go check out this cart. 1,300 bushel cart. It looks like. Wow, guys, this thing is huge. Stickers are still on it. Whoa, that's some big tires. Huh, is this for Halloween? All right, guys. I'm gonna try to do a time lapse with this camera. I don't even know if I can cover the full 100 foot of this machine, but uh, let's see if we can get at least most of it and you'll get to see the progress we make from one end of the left side there, 100 feet from one end to the other. This will be good. The guys are trying to pull a fast one on us. Do you guys see anything wrong here? Well, we'll fix that. This is where the magic happens, huh? I guess. 
Yeah. Nibbling it away. So you can read that. Yeah, we got it. Side. We got it. There we go. <laughs> We won't, uh, we won't tell anyone about this one. <laughs> What's wrong with that one? Uh, I don't know. It's lardy. We'll, we might need this somewhere else. <laughs> Never know. Now. We'll save it. So one thing we didn't know that was gonna happen was Ben from Farm Focus was gonna be here. So he's here, he's doing some dyno work and some tuning on the tractor and the sprayer. So they're gonna get some more horsepower out of those. And uh, that's gonna be a good thing, especially with all the uh, power that this thing's gonna take. That'll bring up the squeeze. That'll make it go. Very nice. All right, one more down. Another couple more to go. Well, Warren and I just finished the last towers on the right-hand side of the drill, so we're done. No, but uh, actually we didn't tell you that we skipped a few. <laughs> We did the ones we knew. But uh, we did just finish this side here and uh, we're gonna move back towards the center of the drill. Look at that sun behind me. It's a beauty. I bet you're so bright your mother calls you a sun. Right? <laughs> so for all you Borgo guys out there, we just moved this bracket here that was sitting here. We moved it over there. And uh, this guy here was actually mounted to that frame section down there. And now it's back here. So we have a nice space for these towers that uh, allows us to mount the ECU bracket between them. And we'll be able to pick up all these, sure. these runs with the sensors without doing to a second ECU. Really good deal. Well guys, we just got done with the last one. You got the rest, right? I'm still working on my first one. <laughs> oh man. Hey, far away. The first one. Hey, can you yell a little louder? I can't hear you over there. What? <laughs> you, yeah, I'll call you. I'll text you. <laughs> it's all you. Do something. I can't. <laughs> it's not moving. I'd say that looks factory right there. <laughs> what do you think, Warren? As long as it doesn't hit anything folding up. True. Right. What I wanted to do was look around and say, hey, where's Dean? Yeah. Did he go get in the plane? See ya, boy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got Warren. He's working on wire harnessing now isn't that your favorite part of your job i don't know what my job is oh you're retired so you can do anything right <laughs> kind of kind of yeah <laughs> i'm just cameraman right now but dean is over there right yeah, there hi dean hi. he's uh finishing the sensors on let's call that the left half of the machine uh that's like pretty much the last of the sensors for the left half of this massive machine 50 rows 50 rows count it anyway we got uh, Nacho over here, right? You're still over here. Yep, hi. He's making good progress on the right-hand side of the machine. Looks like he's started from the very right-hand side and moving this way. We've got seed runs here. That's the stiffer, smoother looking white plastic. And then we've got the fertilizer runs that are inch and a quarter, They're a little bigger, more of the spiral braid style. So those sensors will go in later because those are inch and a quarter, but these are one inch. And the sun is going down. We uh, we certainly are feeling the lack of time that we had because of our delayed flight, but we're making the best of it. So we're gonna keep working here and see if we can capture some golden hour shots while we work. What's going on over there? Nothing. <laughs> We're just watching you. I've been just hanging out, watching you guys work, and I, I figured it's time to help you guys out a little bit. Well, I figured we'd get it on record that you actually did something. Well, there's that too. Hey, someone has to answer all the questions. Okay. 
you think? Adjusting. Oh. Final, final adjustments. Like, like my uh, yeah. ratchet, slip wrench. You know what I got going on here? You must have an iron grip. I don't turn anymore, so it must be tight enough. Yeah. Until she pops out in the field. Yeah. Hey guys, we've had a great time out here with Fast Ag near Glasgow, Montana. Thanks so much for having us out here. Thanks for the opportunity Thank, to, you know, work free, on your drill. Thanks for the free system. Yeah, true. What? <laughs> no, no, no. Cut, cut that. We'll, we'll cut send that. the bill tomorrow or next <laughs> There's a few parts that we got to return, but uh, that was, yes. We uh, got you good, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to the outro. Uh, thanks so much for having us. And it was really a good time. Good to see you guys again. Got to know some more people like Warren, Nacho, Dean, our pilot, of course, he's a great add to this group here with the, the work we had to do. You know what? We came in late today, but we got a ton of it done. The, the ECUs are all mounted. The sensors are all mounted. And a lot of the wire harness is yeah. done. Yep. And so we're really in a good place. There's just a little bit of details, which will probably still take a lot of time. But he's going to have a great blockage system. If you guys need a blockage system on your drill, let us know at ready. We've got the systems in stock and uh, we can get them to you for spring seating or fall seating whenever you need them. It's a great system. There's a reason that these guys are doing it. They've had them on their seed masters and now they had to have it on their brand new Borgo 100 footer. And it doesn't matter if you have a hundred foot or 30 foot, it's really important to know what's happening during your most important pass of the year. So with that, we're out. God bless. Jesus loves you, and thanks for helping us keep farmers farming. <laughs> <laughs>